Hi, welcome to the Indian side. So today we are going to make a natural oven. We are going to use four tools for the oven to stand. And here we are going to make the oven. And so we collected some bottles, some gra grass. Dried grass. Yeah, we would use that instead of straw. We got two different types of sands. One is uh, sea sand and the other one is mud. Usual mud and we've, we've got, got gravels. We've got some stone, stone gravels and yeah. bricks. We are going to collect now we are getting some clay. So you can practically take any sand with a binding factor. Yeah. This one is perfect. Like this. It See? looks like a big smoothie slug. <laughs> yes. This is clay mud and we are going to stamp it to make a fine cob. What do you mean a cob? What do you mean cob? Really, we had to do ah! this. Stamp nicely. Sand. Should, should we get our feet clay, dirty? Sand, clay and the dry grass should mix very well. So that we could make a fine cob. Should I really put my legs inside you? So you got the clay consistency. Stones, we've got glass bottles, we've got yeah. mud, and we've got enough sand. And these two. Hey guys, so we planned on doing a different thing. So we're going to build a frame using these rocks, which are extremely heavy. This is the first layer. So we finished this for today and we gather the materials too. So we'll come tomorrow and finish this off. So we got it half done. Put the slab on the base so it was extremely heavy. Hey guys, so we are patching up the bricks, bricks and stones using clay. After they dry up, they may look like cement, but it's actually clay. We this is how this is all we, what we have made. So in the first we've started building this and then we placed this slab on. It was extremely heavy. Then we <laughs> patched the gaps with clay. When it dries it might look like cement. Let's but they are natural mud dust. So natural clay that was made by us. Yeah, so here we are arranging the bricks to make the oven in the middle. So we made two layers of bricks. Now that we are patching it up just like these two. So we are adding the stone thing. We are going to place the glass bottles on them. And we are going to put a layer of sand and another layer of bricks. So it should at least be this high. Okay, so we put some small stones and some gravel and some glass bottles as insulators. Okay, so we need to topple the sand on these bottles. Mm, enough, 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 enough. There's too much sand. So we want a layer, another layer of bricks. Okay. So now we lie 
On top of the sand, we made an extra layer of bricks and filled the holes with sand. So, next we are going to mount the sand and make the oven. So, the inside of the oven. Okay, we need a ladder. We need more sand. up the sand. Like a mountain. We have mounted the sand and now we are going to put wet, wet newspapers. newspapers. Disgusting. We mounted up the sand and we put newspapers on it. Next we are going to pour grease. Hey guys, so we are just covering up the last patch of this cob oven. You have Maybe you have seen us prepare the cob last last time, so we are using Okay, so it's getting a bit dark and we almost finished the second layer. And we've inserted two sticks here to make the chimney. It's gonna get dry next morning, so we have We have made the whole the uh, oven. We have made a cat face. We have tried it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to paint the mice with black paint. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to paint black on the inside. Yes. So it has, it stores heat. Yeah. So our, mm. our oven is complete. And we're going to let it dry for, say, sometimes, two days. Two days, yes. Sometime we'll show you how to use the oven. Yeah. Uh, since I felt that... Uh, it is not strong enough. I have made another layer of the clay. And I have pre-made the ears of the cat. And just uh, in the process of making it, this one. So I got the ears done and I am going to make the nose and the eyes part. So the soil that you're using for us clay should have a good consistency like how you have a kneaded dough, it should be like that. So this is It's almost dry and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the sand out that we have stopped inside. We need to take the whole sand outside. So I've cleaned the sand from inside and you could see the inside of the oven. So it's done and now we could cook something on it. So, uh, so I've cleaned the inside space.
prepared uh, for uh, making cake it's a banana wheat butter i have to make banana vanilla syrup sugar syrup burning inside but you need most of the cakes require like 300 to 350 to 350 to 400 degree fahrenheit to bake cake so make sure you maintain the temperature inside uh, so that uh, your cake gets baked properly and you need to keep the cake for like at least uh, 15 to 20 minutes for it to bake nicely so let's do it i want to show you how our chimney is working very nicely you see we got some nice smoke coming out of it <laughs> So I wanted to show you another thing mm -hmm. because of the clay consistency not being good you could see the cracks so I need to put another layer on top of it so that this is because of too much of heat inside which is making the clay a layer to break so this will happen we need to make sure it has a nice consistency uh, while doing it. This is because uh, I couldn't get the fine clay and I did not spend time making a clay by itself. You could actually make a clay within a week and you could use the proper clay with any type of soil. Bake nicely inside so that we could get the temperature that will help us to bake the cake finely. That, uh, so you could see that uh, fire is settling down. You can either do, you can either take the charcoal out and maintain the heat inside since I'm going to bake mm, let the smoke settle down so that uh, your cake doesn't smell smoke so after that we put the cake batter inside and let's see how the cake comes out so you could see that it is all done and I'm going to have prepared banana wheat batter and I'm going to keep it inside so I've closed it nicely I've kept the cake batter inside and I've closed it nicely uh, so that the smoke doesn't come out anywhere so let's wait for 20 minutes for the cake to bake so let's see how it has come out I'm so 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 happy because uh, the cake has come out really really well although uh, excuse me for the shape because uh, the shape did not come out properly because I didn't have uh, butter paper with me to layer it maybe I could have applied oil but uh, out of curiosity I really forgot to apply oil to the vessel so it's because of that uh, mm, quarter of the cake got peeled off it's okay but still I've got a better shape I guess uh, it has got a good, uh, you know, it's, it has got a very nice consistency and it is totally good. Mm. And I oh, really love to taste it. Mmm. It's jolly yum. Please try my natural oven. It really reduces carbon emission a lot and it saves your electricity bill. It saves on a lot of resources. And uh, the foremost thing is you could eat some healthy stuffs. And you could cook anything. My oven was a little smaller I should say. Because it's the first time for me as well.